Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So in previous two videos, we have seen how we can set up the web chat forms, how we can customize them, and how we can provide our customers the lives or the real time support uh, and connect them with our agents. So in today's video, we will see how we can set up the pre chat forms. So pre chat forms are something in which we are getting some initial details from our customers like their first name, last name, email addresses and the reason why they want to connect with the custom uh, agent so using this pre-chat form what happens as soon as they uh, submit this form a notification will be sent to the agent and if the details match with the existing details in the database like uh, it will going to exact match with the email address in the contact if it find any contact with is exact match of the email address it will going to show to the agent and connect the case to this existing one and if it does not find any existing record then it will going to create a new contact and attach this case to this new one so we will see uh, everything how we can customize the pre chat form how we can add and how we can use them on the screen sharing so let's move to our screen so here first we will see how we can create the pre chat form and how we can customize it by adding different fields and as you have seen in the last video we have created the embedded services so we will open and work on the same so this is the one which we have created earlier and we will uh, make modification and addition in this only so from here we can view this and in this we need to go to the chat settings so here as you can see there is an option of pre chat page so currently it is not uh, on or we have made it turn off so now let's edit it and see the settings how we can create it so from here first we need to select the type and accordingly it will show us the objects to add the fields for the form so here i have selected the service and in service we mainly need the contact and the case so here is the contact record and here you have the option to add multiple fields and you can make them required and by default we have the two fields like name and email you can remove the email also if you want so now let's try to add more fields here over here So I have selected the case reason or I have added the case reason also and we can make them required as per our need and let's save this and after saving I have activated this pre chat page. Okay so now next here is the offline support so uh, I have also explained this in the previous video like if your agent is not available or is on break or is on lunch then you can show them a offline support page a page where they can add their queries and the case will be inserted into your salesforce and afterward once you are available you can look looked into the case and contact to the customer so this is the offline support let's make this also active so now here as we have added the pre chat page so now next step is our to uh, get the modify code so let's uh, get this code from here and we will paste it over in our page or in our website where we are using our web chat So now we have added our changes and as per the changes the customer should see first a pre-chat form. Okay so currently it is showing the offline support so might be inside my agents are offline currently. So let's check. Okay yeah it is offline so let's make it active. So now let's refresh our page and uh, try to connect again with the customer agent. So here when I click on this web chat, so here as you can see the free chat form is opening with the fields of contact and the case. So, so now let's check the same. So now I am creating one contact here. So here I am not adding any email. 
so just the first name and the last name so the first rule here to check uh, whether the pre-chat form will find any contact or not will be based on the email if it find the exact match of the email which the customer fill in the pre-chat form then only it will matches and it will relate the case else it will going to create a new contact so i have created a new contact in the salesforce and now i am filling the free chat form here and this time i am adding the email in this form so here when i click on the start chatting or uh, inside in my salesforce my agent will get the notification and it will the pre-chat form will collect all the information if this contact is already existed or not on the basis of email so here as you can see in the omni channel i am getting the request so when i click on this accept button or on this checkbox so here you can see a conversation box will open with the contact details and the case which created related to this contact here it is the case and let's also check whether the case contact is created new or it is combined with the existing one on the basis of name so now let's move to this context so the both the are the this week so the one which we have created earlier and this was the one which was created from the pre-chat form with the case related to it so uh, so it will going to match with the uh, exact match with the email id so if it found the email id then it will relate the case with the contact else it will going to create the new one so now next step is to check with the existing email id that is with the existing contact so we will give the same uh, in the pre-chat form we will give the same email as we have in our uh, contact so let's see what will happen in this case So here again the agent will get the notification and when he accept the request so here as you can see the details are already come with the existing contact. So here the chat box will open and here is the contact details which are already present in the salesforce and here is the new case which is a law created related to this contact. So if I open this contact uh, in in the related you can see two cases related to this contact now so here are the two the one which created at the first time and the one which created now when it find the existing contact so now let's also check the offline support so in the case if our agent is offline or is on the break so now let's check this So if I refresh this then we will get the offline support in which we will enter our case details and the case will be inserted in the Salesforce but this time it will not connect or it will not uh, uh, find any existing contact with this. So if you want this then we need to go with changes in the script or in the code which we have pasted and or we can uh, do our apex coding to relate the cases with the existing contact. So here it will simply log a case in the salesforce and agent can look afterwards whenever he is available or after a break or So here is the case which is created and in this details you can see no existing contact is related to it or it did not find any contact as Hope you guys find the video interesting and if you have any query do let me know in the comment section and we'll meet you soon in the next video. Till then take care. Goodbye.